Hi everyone, we had a whole bunch of technical difficulties, like always. Thanks for understanding, you. Let me get some truck, truck, truck in there. Not. Which is not showing up on the stream as a chat box. Which means I have the chat capture on wrong, and that's why that showed up wrong. Um, properties, yeah, that's pointing to the, uh, the other thing. Just a second, let me grab the chat capture URL off this page. Ugh, technical difficulties. All right, there's the chat capture URL. Now switch back to the page. I am so sorry about this. There we go. Okay, now we should have a chat capture. And it's still not working. Oh, wait, yes it is. It's just hard to see because of where it's sitting. Put it, um, put it over here. Uh, I usually don't have much trouble with OBS, but yeah, today I'm definitely having trouble. All right, let's put that right here, and that way I think everyone will be able to see it. All right. Um, is our viewer count showing? Because on mine, it's still showing zero viewer. Okay. Jamie had to go and get himself killed. All that nonsense about stopping Dalamut himself. What in the seven hells was he thinking? See, we're starting now. Nothing happened. It was mercifully quick. Still, judging from the depth of the crater, he must have fallen from an unfathomable height. Gods only know what he was, what was going through his mind as he watched the ground rush up to meet him. Shudder. Amazing how well his body was preserved, though. Hells. Amazing there was a body left to bury at all. Huh. I had reason for bringing this up. Oh, right. So Nashu, Fran's erstwhile assistant, has since become an inspector in her own right. At present, she's investigating the earlier. She's a sweet lass, a bit daft, but less. So when I hear she's at wit's end, I want to help. Thing is, I prefer to meddle in the affairs of the living. Zombies are most definitely not my forte. So if you're willing, I'd be grateful if you lent her a hand. As for where to find her, well, she's looking to visit Hildebrand's grave in the lich yard when she's frustrated. Try looking for her there first. Right, let's pop over to the lich yard. What they call a graveyard. Love this book. Fits so well with the whole outfit. Right up here, find her. Nashu Makaraka. Oh, if only you were still alive, Inspector. You'd know how to stop these zombies. Mike's getting quiet. I probably looked away from it. Hopefully this is... No, now it's just gone.
Microphone better start working. All right, it's working now. All right, how's this? It looks like it might still be trying to cut out now and then. All right, well, you should be able to hear me now at least. Good. All right. Ah, there. Could it be? You've come to offer your services to me. Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Nashu, agent of inquiries. Extraordinary expector. Hi there, Lisa. At least, that's what I'm trying to be. Not quite as easy as he made it look. Inspector Hildebrand was a great man, a real Eorzean hero. Traveled the world, me and him. Solving cases, thwarting evil. No matter the mystery, you could always count on the Inspector to solve it with grace and style. Sad. But then, there was the final case. The case of the century, he called it. How to stop the Red Moon from destroying the world. I'd like to point out that this is actually the first time the Red Moon Terra is mentioned in this game. In this ridiculous comedy plotline. So that's a lot of fun. Save us all. He flew into the sky. All I could do was watch. But then he came back down and he... He... I do not apologize for my dramatic reading. It's all a joke. A big, funny joke, right, Inspector? Any minute now, you'll burst out the ground and shout, Surprise! Had your fool day! And we'll laugh and laugh. Little brand Manderville. They say, they say no one remembers the Warriors of Light. The names, faces, all gone forever. But I remember you, Inspector. No, Gentleman Hero Hildebrand. I can never be the hero you were. I'll do my best to try. I, Nashu, Inspector Extraordinaire, will carry on your legacy. Well, hi there. So I told myself, well, Nashu, there must be a leader, a head zombie who tells the rest what to do. Therefore, all we need to do is kill him. A again, that is. Unfortunately, I don't know where he is or how to find him. But now that you're here, my faithful assistant, you can try the one good idea I've come up with so far. If you go to where these dapper zombies were last seen in southern Thanalan, might find them, and then you could, um, aha, you could become their friend and ask to meet their leader. Yes, that's sure to work. So, now we've got to go find these dapper zombies. They are closest to gotten
There is a fate going. Get out of that. Fates are mini events that just spawn around the map. How's everyone do that? Not too disappointed. Lack of Lego. This. Eld's reflections. The way is dark, but I've walked it a thousand times. I can guide you through. Like. Got if I'm supposed to actually. Go. I have to go. Around. That what car boys? <laughs> Random fate encounter. Hey, I was wrong. Wrong way. Like right next to my mouth. Cannot go any closer. I think my uh, headphones are breaking down. Alright, I guess we're going around the other way. Which means taking a chocobo. Yeah, I don't know, like, OBS is not showing my mic not picking stuff up correctly at any point. So I really don't know why people are saying that it sounds bad, it's got to be on Twitch's end. Let's see. The rise and fall of gentlemen. Here we are. Um, we gotta find them zombies. Participate in the fate. Fallen corpses rise in style. So apparently it's a fate here that we've got to do, which means waiting around. Boy, I had forgotten about this. So how's everyone doing? I think this is a plot line you have to wait for a fate. It up a little by doing other fates in the area, which there's... Let's run up and do that, and then run back once... Last lap of PUBG. Oh, for that video. Very cool. Bridge. Yes. Minutes is more than enough. That's. I should probably tank pet. My pets are all adorable.
Hit it with a book. Should some Alright, one down. Now a couple more faith spawn, so we those. Okay, that fate will spawn in the next few. Now it's on like a max half hour time. And doing other fates in these areas generally up the other time. There's always fates of it. Uh, give a kid. Got the fat chocobo. Also, thank you guys for your help. Let's party up so we all get full credit. Not letting me add to party. Here, everyone stop fighting for a sec. Oh, that's why. Harak Fortune Teller. Or Amalja, one of the uh, reptilian races. Level Sink. That's what I was for. That's the wrong fate, but right now. Uh oh, Battle Drake. What up, everyone? It's your girl, Alice. We're gonna play, make the tight plays in Final Fantasy XIV tonight. Right. Head over. 
Tempered, tempered. Right, tight Final Fantasy play. I'd completely forgotten that it starts off with a fate. I apologize. Has less time on it. Head here. Taken. Oh, apparently we won. Okay. What is still attacking? Alright, down to this. Someone else is starting uh, Hildebrand as well. Judging by the uh, progress already made. Challenge log entry. I know it's not the Hildebrand fate, though. Other people are trying to get the fates to... I know what I'm saying. That's right. Y'all just coming at me. Alright, next on. My pets come back. As apparently my pets have just decided that they're gonna run off without me. Oh, wait, it's starting. I be Level sink. Let's kill some dapper zombies. Oh, I love this music. Final Fantasy battle song. Often used for comedy fights and beating up Nazis. Not that there's a difference. Not all comedy fights involve beating up Nazis. But beating up Nazis is always hilarious. I have not seen that. I'll have to look that up later.
Oh, I just realized that Arbuncle died at some. Never seen Final Fantasy. Oh, now you have. I'm doing one of the best plot lines in it. So, good place to start. Complete. Got a, got a curious parchment. Time to head back up to Nashu. Show it to her. Gameplay and a plot, right? And unlike most MMORPGs, Final Fantasy XIV has a legitimately good plot. Well, the first plot, A Realm Reborn, just okay. There's plots, but Heavensward and Stormblood are excellent. Of course, Hildebrand, part of Hildebrand, Heavensward. First part, from what I understand, happened original Final Fantasy. Gone now. My god, yeah. There's nothing I can do about the mic. It's just not working. I'll have your headphones. Wireless headphones. Find the zombies. Kid, that's wonderful. I've been busy too. The head zombie will rue the day he meets me. You'll see. So tell me, what did you learn? Please stop making a bunch of noise, guys. Aren't able to make new friends. That's a shame. But this parchment, the map of the Sagoli Desert. Spot marked here in the south, and look, something written here. A gentleman is rather than does. Awesome. Alright, I'm gonna try switching out headphones real quick. I'm gonna put up a BRB sign on here while I do this. Just a second.
Oh my god, you can definitely hear me. I'm so sorry for that horrible sound. All right, let me put a muffle on or a baffle on this mic real quick. I'll mute it while I do that. Okay. Um, hopefully this won't fade in and out like the other one. Thank you, Christy. Glad we had this old pair. Um, I'm sorry, B. That was very unintentional. I know you got sensitive ears, and I'm really sorry. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Tell me if it continues to fade in and out, because then I'll know if it was the headphones or not. Okay. Gentleman is, rather than does. That sort of reminds me, um, well, no matter. Let's see where this map takes us. Assistant, onward to Sagoli. So welcome back to our Final Fantasy Fortnite stream. Gonna see the tight plays here tonight. It's your girl, Alice. Do I sound like a Fortnite streamer yet? They're popular. And onward to Stagoli. Sounds like a kind of pasta. Might have been Nick at night, just remember watching a lot of TV land while I was suspended from... Didn't one of them absorb the other? At some point, I don't know, in Canada, we just had, like, I don't know, we had channels, we have a lot of channels that I remember uh, dedicated to older shows, except, like, CHB, which was only dedicated to old shows in certain blocks. Elan spawned from it, okay. Got expelled from school. Well, they missed out. I don't think I misread the map. Maybe they're just shy, though. I say we call out to them and let them know we come in peace. And when the leader shows himself, we strike. I am missing my vaporizer. That's annoying. It's probably in the kitchen. Yes, please. Ah, giant chocobo. Now I can say either, I will go whither the wild rose blooms, which is the passphrase for the, uh, for the main story. A gentleman is, rather than does, which is, of course, the passphrase they're waiting for. And show yourselves, foul fiends. Uh, who summons the gentle dead men? They live! They live! And we, we hunger. 
My brothers, lend me your ears. A gentleman does not dine upon his guests. Bear these two fair ladies your mastications. Withdraw, I say, and harass them no more! I am peaking real bad when I talk loudly. Let me lower that a little. Alright, this should be a bit better. Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! No, that's an airship. No, it's... it's the inspector. We hear, and we obey. It is you. It really is you. I knew nothing could kill the great Inspector Hildebrand. Hildebrand? Who is this Hildebrand you... Of. I miss the dialogue. What are you saying? You're not an undead overlord. You're a gentleman inspector. Ugh. Inspector. Overlord. Inspector. Overlord. Oh, inspector, you're just confused is all. Don't worry. I'll knock some sense back into that noggin of yours. Stay, stay your hand, milady. You know not what you do. Even if I were the esteemed gentleman you purport me to be, the concussive force of the blast is more likely to liquefy my... If crashing into the ground made you forget, then an explosion of equal force ought to make you remember. I'll save you, Inspector, or kill you trying. Me? Even you acknowledge the possibility that this plan will result in my... Death? There are such good faces in this. This is the true ending to the Sherlock Holmes series. Yes. Normally, I would applaud your ingenuity, Nashu, but I would have preferred that you found a more, um, elegant solution. Ah, oh, he remembers. He remembers me. Inspector Hildebrand remembers me. Yes, yes, I remember you, my faithful assistant. What I do not quite remember is how I came to... Here. We have discovered a perturbed gentleman. Now, the story behind Hildebrand is Terra, the Red Moon, was going to come crashing down onto Eorzea. And uh, Hildebrand actually flew up into the sky to stop it. And then he fell back to Earth. He did not survive. Also, my character, Serena, has a link to the crystals. which allows me to see bits and pieces of the past. Ah, such a wonderful dream. I slew a dragon and... Huh. Place. For that matter, who am I?
Yes, this is a piece of the past. Maybe not quite as useful as seeing into the future, but uh, more reliable. A most gentlemanly pose. That's true, B. That's very possible. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, have awoken at last. I... I always knew you'd come back to us. Be it Red Moon or Black Dragon, no fiend is a match for my legendary might. And who might you be, my fine lady? Could she perhaps be one of my many admire? Oh, what is this faint tingling sensation in my arm, this ringing in my ears, this dizziness? Could it be a case? I already have enough to feed down. I don't think I misread the map. Maybe they're just shy, though. Okay, so apparently not being able to take the Tuft of Phoenix down actually screwed that up. That's amazing. Let's throw out the old one. You can just skip the scene, it's okay. Aw, thank you. I love my tail. I want one in real life. Just like a stuffed one I can tie to my butt. Alright, skip the scene. Complete. Y'all like my shiny book? Verily, it would be not else. Somewhere nearby, doing are afoot, and only I can thwart them. Copious quantities of sand, unbearable heat. Aha! The Sagoli Desert. I'd bet my life on it. Which means Uldar is but a short trek away. Yes, it all fits. Only that den of iniquity could so violently trigger my keen investigator's sense. Fear not, law-abiding citizens. Inspector Hildebrand shall soon deliver you from evil. Back in the saddle. Quest accepted. Back to Ulda. Oh, I just realized you can't see my real tail on this uh, outfit. Tail. Beg your pardon, you wish to question me as to the whereabouts of that deviant running around town dressed in rags. Do I look like a reporter for the Mithril Eye? I do not consort with perverts. If I switch over to Dragoon real quick, you can see my real tail. There we go. I'm a lizard. What you looking for half-naked islander who likes to catch criminals? 
I think I'd remember a thing like that. If you do manage to find this inspector friend of yours, tell him to do something about the goddamn duel list. The mate's Paul's cousin's kid's best friend lost his blade the other day to that bastard. Last one by the cafe. Maddie Omoiselle. Sold more stuff. Sorry, lass, but if it's information you want, they're best by going to Wyman. The only rumors I've heard are those about the weapon thief. Calls himself a duelist, or so I hear, but when you don't allow your opponents to refuse, well... Not great, is what I'm saying. Alright, let's go see Vimond. When did this game come out? I think this version came out in 2015. I tell you, you've dealt with a zombie problem, eh? So, oh, do tell. Just why were they dressing up like dandies? Boymond! Hey! Sorry, wrong, wrong voice. Wyman's? Hey! Wyman's! Thou almighty bugger me with a blade and spear! The dead have risen, and they're wearing the and they're walking the streets of Elder! No need for melodrama, my good man. As you can see, reports of my death were greatly exaggerated. It's true, he's not a zombie. I checked. I you seem to be hale and healthy, which uh, begs the question, how in the seventh hell did you survive that fall? Why question divine providence? What matters is that Eorzea's champion has returned and that he, and by that I mean I, shall bring this thieving duelist to justice. Heard about that, did you? Might be harder than you think. Even I've got no inkling of that fella's current whereabouts. Inconceivable! I refuse to believe that the ever-inquisitive, ever-ambitious, ever-reliable Vimond is without a single shred of information, even one of dubious relevance. Well, furries have kind of a bad reputation on the internet, mostly thanks to people who are not furries. Well, I'll make no promises, mind ya, but there was some talk of a uh, fair maiden that a most. This knave assaulted a young woman as well. The audacity! I should fly to her side at... <sighs> Why, if it isn't the lady from Sagoli, how did you recognize me? A serendipitous encounter indeed. Unless you... Seek the belligerent duelist. Capital! It will be invigorating to engage in a friendly battle of wits. Already the spirit of competition fills me. Come, Nashu, we must away! Damn it, Ildi. I ain't told you the lass's name yet. Vyman believes it would be best if you assisted Inspector Hildebrand with his investigation. Well, Serena, you might as well go after him. He'll be disappointed if you don't. The lady in question is named Yellow Moon, the woman with a taste for the finer things in life. Safe to say you'll find her getting fitted for something in the Weaver's Guild most every day. Good luck with the inspecting, Inspector. Right, now we gotta go to the wheat field, which has an e right. Just head over here and teleport.
What did it try to autocorrect the word internet to be? My beloved pure heart was unlike any wand you've ever seen. Elegant, refined, the perfect accessory for any cultured woman. will bring it back to me, won't you? A priceless possession callously ripped from the hands of its owner. The lady and the wind bears her sorrow to his ears. What gentleman could clear this clarion call and not beg the honor of champion her cause? I'm sorry for screwing up words there. I have a dry mouth today. What in the world? I swear to you, here and now, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall score all creation from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens for your pure heart. What he said. And you, my fellow servant of justice, I see your instincts are not to be underestimated, having guided you to this fair maiden's side. Now then, Miss Moon, what can you tell us of the theft? Thefts, sir, to be precise. My pure heart was only the most recent item to be taken from me. I... I'm certain I had it when I left home the other day. After I browsed the latest fashions at Sunsilk and took in a match at the Colosseum, I realized it was gone. So the time and location of the theft are unknown. Essential details, without which we cannot solve the case. There is but one logical course of action. Miss Moon, to coax the hidden clues from your memories, we must reenact that fateful day's excursion to Sunseal Tapestries. <laughs> All right, now we've got to head over to Back to the steps of Nod. Yeah, that's pretty incredible to autocorrect internet to just net. Is that'd that'd take a hell of a lot of effort to spell one as the other. <laughs> Miss Moon, would you be so kind as to describe your visit in detail on the day in question? Nothing unusual happened, but if you insist, I was pondering whether or not to purchase a new dress when a man approached me and confessed his undying love. This is nothing unusual. What sort of man says that to a complete stranger, I ask you? Naturally, I was taken aback. I dropped my purse, in shock, not intentionally, on his foot, and he cried out in pain and fled. Clicked a button wrong. Okay, I'm back. Chat now. If I may be so bold, Miss Moon, that strikes me as a most unusual happening. In any case, it appears to be unrelated to the thefts. Let us next proceed to the Colosseum and see what you remember. And on to the Colosseum at the Thaumatur. Public transportation. That's what the that's what these cities have. Completely free too.
all paid for by taxes paid in the market. Once again, Miss Moon, so kind as to tell us what you remember. Well, like before, nothing unusual happened. I felt like gambling that day and was debating which match to observe when a gladiator approached me from behind and confessed his undying love. Naturally, I was taken aback. I whirled about and struck the man in the face with my purse, in shock, not intentionally. Unfortunately, since I was carrying a tremendous sum of money, my purse weighed about six score ponzes, and the blow was enough to render him unconscious. One hundred and twenty ponzes! Miss Moon, you are a remarkably strong woman! Which is precisely why you were targeted! Oh, it's so obvious in hindsight. The thief bore you a grudge, no. No more than that, he hated you with a passion. There sure are a lot of giant crates in Oba. At the Weaver's Guild, at Sunsilk Tapestry, here too. Crates are everywhere, Serena. I wonder what's inside. But I... How we can open... Oh, of course, I still have plenty of explosives! Here, why don't you try? It'll be fun. Nashu's Delight. Oh, hi there. At the heart of every crime rests a single unassailable truth, reached only by navigating a web of falsehoods and contradictions. Hearken to me now, for as Shepherd leads his flock, I shall guide you to my irrefutable conclusion. A gladiator professes his feelings only to be rejected and physically assaulted in response, wounding his pride as a warrior and a man, resenting her prowess whilst recognizing his weakness. He carries out a more feasible vengeance. He robs Yellow Moon of her weapon, the Pure Heart. Spectre, we found the Pure Heart. These strange men sneaking around town and wooden crates had it. It's not what you think! We're not thieves, we're devotees! Yellow Moon is our sun and stars! We only wish to keep her safe from harm, and should she misplace an item from time to time, we'd collect it. For safekeeping, nothing untoward. You deviants were behind the thefts! All this time you've been stalking me. What? What nerve! Ah, uh, such unbridled fury! Such righteous indignation! You'd be glad to accept the goddess's punishment! Goddess, devotee, ah uh ha -huh, but of course. That I had you inspect those crates was a stroke of genius indeed. As I was elucidating, but a moment ago, those fiends are obviously the ones responsible for the recent rash of weapon thefts as... Those thefts were carried out by a single individual, you imbecile. Lest forgotten, the culprit is a he only claims his victim's weapons after defeating them in single combat. If your powers of observation are as great as you claim, you should have deduced that those buffoons in boxes were incapable of such. I should know. I'm a reporter for the Mithril Eye. My name is Ellie, and I've been investigating these incidents for weeks. Inspector Hildebrand... Gentleman investigator, and agent of inquiry, I assume. You're looking well for a dead man. 
What's the scale of organized crime in this game's universe? Massive. Absolutely massive. Uh, one crime syndicate basically owns this entire city under the guise of being free marketers. So, you know, like the states. Who would be willing to share such precious information with me? Your generosity is commendable, Miss Ellie. May this mark the beginning of a long and beautiful friendship. Yes, yes, very good. Name of the man it. Where the bloody hell do you think you're going? I haven't told you anything yet. <laughs> All right. Um. Having no other recourse, Ellie would instead tell you the identity of the victim. I suppose since you're the imbecile's friend, you intend to help him. The man you want to find is an adventurer named Humphrey. At present, he can be found at the Golden Bazaar. With luck, the, goal, the good inspector may find his way there by the time you arrive. If not, then so be it. what'll happen when he discovers that the victim is a perpetrator well and over to camp dry bone This is my behemoth. I haven't thought of a name. But he's pretty cute. Anyone who's played a very nice. Anyone who's played a Final Fantasy game knows that behemoths are not easily tamed. I'm just a badass. Here's Humphrey. Hi, I'm Humphrey. Wow. At last, I've caught up with you. Oh, there, young sir, I'm told you're the victim of the marauding duelist. Me? Eh? A victim? <laughs> How amusing. You amuse me, true. I was challenged by the duelist not long ago, uh, where he thought to find a whelp. He found a warrior of light instead. I, I defended me honor at me blade. See for yourself. And you won? That's amazing. Well, nothing compared to what I faced at Cotno. Magitech to the right of us, Magitech to the left of us. Stuck in the middle with Master Lou. We were... Oh, it was a dab hand with the old magic he was. I tried to save him, of course, but there's a limit to how many giant beasties a man can... That man is no warrior of light. Tell them, Elazar. Tell them how he lost and surrendered a sword that was not his own. Liar! Scoundrel! I trusted that bastard with me father's blade. Did him take a smitty for rhetorician. Even gave him gill to pay for it. Then he comes crawling back, sniveling and begging forgiveness for losing it in a duel. As if that's enough to set things right. Look at me, you bleeding whore, son. Look at me. Me flowing golden locks and no more. I've gone bald from this stressing outbreak. Wear everything holy that you'll face a reckoning if you don't bring her back to me. Oh. 
I don't ride. He beat the shite out of me and took the old man's soul. I used the gill to pay the churgeon. No idea where he or the sword. What am I supposed to do, huh? I can't give him what I don't have unless... Unless you help me find the sword. That's what you do, right? Help people? Have no... Have you no shame? First you claim a legacy not your own, then you beg others to help you with the problems of your own making. Bill refused this man, won't you, Inspector? What of Eleazar's flowing golden locks? How will forsaking young Humphreys help the man he has wronged? We shall begin our search for the sword by questioning the people of the Golden Bazaar. All right, now we got to question a couple people. Like Abe over here. Antique swords? Oh, I haven't the foggiest about that. That traveling merchant Jajompa is the one you ought to speak with, assuming you haven't left. Lulu Lo. That boy should be ashamed of himself, robbing poor Elazar of a priceless family heirloom. This goes to show you could never trust an adventurer who claims to be a warrior of light. Thieves and tricksters, the lot of them. It may not be the most honorable solution, but mayhap you should consider giving Elazar a counterfeit blade. If the deception brings him peace in the final days, would it be so wrong? Elazar's sword. Not much to look at, but at least it was authentic. More than a few collectors have been tricked into purchasing counterfeit relics. Now well, let's go see Jojanpa. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of an ancient sword, at least not one I can guarantee to be authentic. If you see any wares I determine to be of dubious origins, I immediately discard in the spring east of Camp Drybone. Though I have no swords for sale at present, I may have disposed of a facsimile similar in design to the one you describe. This presents a quandary. Though I am loath to deceive an honorable man like Elazar, a well-intentioned rude may put his heart at ease. Thus the rejuvenation of his flowing golden locks, whilst we continue to search for the genuine article. Well, there is a sword in that spring. If there is a sword in that spring, it won't remain for long. It's one of the more convenient sources of fresh water for the common folk in Camp Drybone. This tisk should endeavor to be more optimistic, Miss Ellie. Like me! I say we search the spring first before declaring all lost. Random dude background. Someone start a fate. Alright, fine. Oh, I can't even jump level on this is so low. That my map for about. Talk about a clusterfuck. Holy crap. Maybe 
guess the rest are somewhere else. Yeah, here they are. Hooray! All right, so Hildy is down to the camp dry bone. Up on my massive burb or something. I don't think there's any fried chicken in the background now. How you doing, raw man from the fifth floor? Oh, you mean for the frame. That's uh, supposed to be tree bark. <laughs> well, hopefully you're not eating tree bark. Right. It occurs to me that I'm not yet fully recovered from my accumulated injury. Not be prudent to immerse my bodies in water. Not without first coating it with a liberal application of salamander oil, that is. Indeed, on many an occasion, my dearest mother tended my childhood scrapes just so. Understand the importance of physical re physical rehabilitation, yes? Then you can assist me by pouring the oil all over my body. Ugh. God damn it, Hildebrand. The body is but an instrument in occasional need of oiling, so come on, my friend. Come and oil me up. Fine. People just gathered around him, oil up. Ah, this comforting scent, as though I am a child in her arms. Quickly now, before it dries, knead the oil into my aching flesh. Uh-oh, we're losing frames again. Let's give it a sec and hope that that fixes itself quickly. It doesn't look like it's gonna, though. No, nope, no, nope, there it goes. There it goes, all better. Oof. Count myself lucky. Ah, the ugh, the pain multiplies, multiplies manifold. Gently now, gently. Oh God! Yes, at last, my muscles slacken and soften. The warmth spreads, and the pain becomes pleasure. As bizarre as this is, Hildebrand himself never really sexualizes them. Right there, yes, keep doing that, just like that. Mm, yes, now once more with feeling. Like the narrators are more in on the joke than he is. Hildebrand is indeed a character. Ah, uh, never before have I released, received such splendid ministrations. Now then, into the spring! Do as well, my good woman! All right, I found a muddy pebble. That's like a sword. And over here we have a holy pot. Like, uh, there's more than just holes. 
fate complete, technically. Last one, here it is. Muddy bottle. He's got a bit of Inspector Gadget or Maxwell Smart to him, too. You've been productive. Excellent. May I see what you found? Oh, here's a worthless bottle, a useless rock, and an irrelevant potsherd. No sign of the sword George on Pa mentioned, I see. Ah! Now I'm all wet. What was that, anyway? Huh? Something caused you to... Once again, my instincts have guided us to our quarry. But I had you search that section of the spring was a stroke. <laughs> Inspector, it's bad for your health to conduct investigation in those clothes. I'll go to Olda and fetch you some... How thoughtful of you, Nashu. While you're there, purchase a few bottles of hair tonic for Elazar as well. The newest, most potent blend you can find. Is it not wonderful, my friend? Soon all of Elazar's woes will be no more. All right, I've got to head back up to Elazar. Just go right up there from here. Behemoth. I hardly know her. That's the wrong way. This way. I really love how it jumps, too. Up. 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 That's the wrong. Here we go. I take up the whole room. As promised, I return to you your father's ancient blade. Aye, it is there. Every chip and scratch is just as I remember. Gods bless you, sir. I never expected you'd go to such lengths for two strangers without thought of reward. Altruism is a rare trait these days. It is common enough if you know where to look. A gentleman recognizes the good in every soul and understands that none deserve to be forsaken. Spoken like a true gentleman, though your garments beg to differ. Inspector, I brought your change of clothing. I also bought a supply of tonic from this peddler I met in Pearl Lane. Excellent work, Nashu. Would well, just bring me that case. Ah. 
Ow. In Vector. Vector Hildebrand. There appears to be something lodged in my forehead. Could it be a missive from an adoring admirer? The author neglected to pen her name. I shall come to claim the Collector's Blade. That's supposed to be flattering. No, you supposed to be intimidating. The duelist wrote this, daring you to stop him. <laughs> A challenge? For me! <laughs> At last, the curtain rises! Very well, if I'm to duel the duelist, I must dress for the occasion. I, Hildebrand, Agent of Inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire, accept your challenge. He's incredible. So bold. So majestic. Just like a warrior of life. Oh, a gentleman of light. Is exceptionally something. Cole, Inspector Ildebrand, you look amazing. This is far from the strongest of swords. Guys, in the rolling desert. How much longer must I seek the Blade of Legend? I also think it's Raffle. Challenge accepted, my worthy opponent. You shall not claim the blade. With my, let us call what it is, genius, I shall bring you to justice. Wait, you wish to duel with weapons, not wits? The bridge hardly seems appropriate for such an epic battle. Hildebrand will return in the Three Collectors. Hey, I know that spear. That's the one I found buried with the pumpkins. Pumpkins sort of remind... No. It's gone. Never mind.
Wonderful stuff. Let's do episode two. Perchance you're curious about the duelist's declared target. It so happens that I've identified the weapon in question. The Treaty Blade is part of an Asgardian noble's collection, or was, I should say. No, it has not yet been stolen. It has been purchased by an Uldan collector, wife of a wealthy merchant living in Vesper Bay. Suffice it to say, I would be remiss in my duties as a reporter I were not to investigate. Should the duelist strike whilst I'm present, well, I hope I needn't explain what a golden opportunity that would be. Ingratiating myself to her may prove to be the greatest challenge, though. A difficult woman to be. Fortunately, I'm also told that she has a fondness for rare flowers. Uh, the sort to camp dry bones. You can come along if you'd like. Pop down, pop down to Camp Drybone. Along with my entourage. Here you are, miss. Thank you for your patronage. Was it for love or money that you killed him? It... It was you. Have you gone mad? That was an Amaljaro in his back. I don't even know how to shoot a bow. Amalja don't shoot unarmed merchants. They capture and temper them. Not that you or your victim make for convincing merchants. You're going to misrepresent yourself. Put some effort into it. Wear gloves, for God's sake. At least don't wave your hands in front of you, my face. The calluses on your fingers betray you're a veteran archer. Doubtless you used your skills to great effect five years ago, as did your partner. Aw, thank you, Lisa. And Daddy. So again, I ask, was it because he took from you your share or your sister? Don't touch, don't touch a man's kin. He knew that, and yet he... he damn. Thought he did money. Do he's all yours. Yes, of course. Thank you for your help, Inspector. At least he's competent, but when did investigating crimes become such a popular profession? It's not his job, you know. He just likes doing it. He belongs to one of Ishgard's high houses. Some say he's a baron. Not at all like that buffoon Hildebrand, don't you think? I try not to think about Hildebrand. We should get going. Later, Daril Lady Dorilda will not take kindly to wilting flowers. Right. Go to Ryzen. And strike out west. This is a path that anyone who's played this game will be very familiar with, because they make you walk it about 40 times. The first part of the game has some boring bits. Not gonna lie. There are parts of the original part of the game that you're gonna feel like are work to get through. But for the most part, it's a great game. Just with spots of bother.
Plus, it's so full of fan service for me specifically. I mean, come on, I'm the Azure Dragoon piloting a Reaper Magitek armor. Wielding a gay bulg with a chocobo who's dressed in Setzer's finery and wearing a black mage mask. Again, as I told the last 20 who came before, if you have come looking for work, you are too late. And even if I were in need of additional security, I would not deign to hire a common adventurer. Yes, the gay bulk. I'm having a gay old time with this. Now remove yourself from my sight before I have you removed. He's your gay bulk. <laughs> oh, whoa, what's this? Did you really think I could be so easily manipulated? Present the right gift, speak the magic words, and you would earn my respect. What's more, a flower's beauty is fleeting. I value beauty which transcends the boundaries of time. Everlasting, enduring, unchanging, like mine. Now get out. Forgive us, Lady Gerilda. Meant no disrespect. We're afraid that you would not heed our warnings otherwise. A notorious violent thief is plotting to steal the treaty blade. Fool. I shall come to claim the direct collector's blade, yes? I read the mithril eye. I know full well of whom you speak, and it is none of your concern. I have a legion of guards at my disposal. Should he try, I will have him seized or worse. And even if by some miracle he should succeed will not escape my wrath, for I have retained the services of a certain gentleman. Ah, but you may see for yourself, like every piece in my collection, he has been chosen with the utmost care. Now look on my peerless inspector, interlopers, and despair. Ships that pass in the night, a signal shown in the darkness. The lady cries out for a guardian, and a gentleman must needs oblige. I swear to you here and now, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall neither slumber nor sleep until the fiend who covets the treaty blade is brought to justice. The lady, what brings you here? Are you come in pursuit of the duelist as well? Or, perchance, in pursuit of me? As if I would spend a single gill on an insufferable incompetent. To be fair, you are not spending a single gill on me. The chance to investigate such an intriguing case is payment enough. Preemptive declarations of criminal intent are hardly in vogue. Sorry I'm late. Busy solving a murder. Or Balthier ex Kamina Sama. Yes, a little bit. I kind of think Kamina? Kamina is a great. But I'd replace Balthier just straight up with Inspector Gadget. Briarden, consulting inspector at your service, my lady. It's okay, we'll see you later, B. Thanks for coming. Hey Xenon, you got here just as B was leaving. You can have her seat. Their seat, sorry. Reardon, consulting inspector at your service, my lady.
Good night, B. Conniving inspector. Consulting inspector. Rotting flesh and salt peter. Hildebrand Manderville and Nashu Makraka, I assume. Rank amateurs playing at a profession of which they know not. Call me when you've finished with these wastrels. Aww. See, I do not want nor need your help. Bearden is more than capable of overseeing the transfer. Now get out, all of you. Where have you been, Maria? And where is my vase? There was this strange flying thing, and I... The vase, I dropped it in the water. I was so... That vase once belongs to the royal house of Thorn. Who have any idea how much it was worth? You will go back outside right now and search for my vase, and you are not to return until you find it. Do I make myself clear? My lady, pray allow me to go in the girl's stead. It's not safe, for she herself spoke of a ferocious wild beast. With my unmatched investigative skills, I shall swiftly locate and recover the missing vase, thereby earning your respect, at which point you will gladly grant me permission to investigate the thieving duelist. Verily, it is a plan fiendishly clever in its intricacy. <laughs> yes, she she dropped the vase. Wub, 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 wub. <laughs> Not when spoken aloud. Miss Maria, would you be so kind as to tell me exactly what happened? <laughs> I love these faces. I picked up the vase in Ulta, like Mother said, and I was on my way home. I was crossing the bridge, and then the flying thing came. I got scared, so I ran. When I stopped, it was gone. But so was the vase. I think I dropped it in Norfolk as well. I want to go and look, but there were scary-looking things down there, and I'm scared to go alone. You are no longer alone, Miss Maria. We shall go together and look for the vase. All five of us! All four of you. I'm going after Inspector Breardon. If the duelist strikes, I mean to be there. But Miss Ellie, how can you ignore the plight of a young girl for the sake of a story? Because that's my job, you imbecile. Well, we shall not be derelict in our duty to justice. Come, Nashu, we must away! Don't even know what the bloody vase looks like. Maria dear, listen. If it gets dangerous or you feel afraid, you run on the you run to this adventurer for help, understand? And I'm going to switch back to Summoner. Definitely the easiest job to solo. At least out of the ones I have. Alright, Nafika's Wells are basically this whole valley. Pop back to Horizon. A little closer. And 
on to Nafika's. Our first spot. That girl was run by earlier. Oh, I seen her. Had something in her hands, but dropped it while crossing the bridge. Didn't get a good look, but I reckon it don't matter any road. Whatever it was, it's long gone by now. Alright. We'll find it. There's definitely a few places in the game the camera could work better. Boss, well, anything that falls in the water is like to be swept downstream fairly quickly. Does that have anything to do with that queer winged beast I saw earlier? No? Never mind then. Alright, so we've got a winged queer beast. My favorite kind of beast. Check it out. It's a flamboyant oaf. A pox upon that thief. Human bird, he shall rue the day he crossed paths with me. Ah, Avas, I know not of what you. Ah, curse the infernal ruse underfoot. Every point is a infernal refuse underfoot. Every point is a dagger. There is something in the water at the man's feet. This is Gilgamesh. He's a time and dimensional traveling sword collector who started his story in Final Fantasy V and has just been all the way all over the place ever since. Why spy the treasured vase of Lady Derilda? Uh, oh dear. Um, it's belong to you, child. Forgive me. I was so engrossed in my search that I did not notice. Your search for what, pray tell? The demon bird that absconded with my weapon. I set it down for but a moment. Get next in the talons of that accursed creature. I gave chase, following it to the waters, and in my haste I must have stepped upon your vase. Yes, time and relative dimensions in swords. Don't fret, Maria. I know it looks bad, but I'm sure Inspector Hildebrand will think of something. Oh, but I already have my faithful assistant. Hearken to me now, for as the rising sun doth dispel the dark, so shall my solution resolve our dilemma. But first, we must, get, we must gather as many fragments of the vase as we can find. So, let's gather some vase fragments. Precious potsherd. They're all just precious, aren't they? Give Carbuncle Pats. Come to present your findings, have you? Splendid. Let's have a look. Well done, my friend. This should be more than sufficient for our needs. 
has performed miracles with far less after all. A shattered antique vase will not deter Inspector Hildebrand from his mission. There is but one person in all Eorzea capable of reconstructing this vase. A man whose skill with the hammer has brought rival goldsmiths low. So breathtaking are his works, so fearsome his competitive spirit. This man is no mere goldsmith. Speak of him as one would of a great warrior. Once a notorious gang of thieves perpetrated a series of robberies in Uldah, targeting establishments which sold luxury goods. One such shop was owned by the humble lapidary. His was the last shop the thieves struck. For the following morning, they were found beaten, bound, and gagged in the gold court. The brass blades never learned who was responsible. The only information they had was the testimony of a thief who kept muttering the words, The Hammer. The Hammer. Dangerous. Aye, that he does, and I do so enjoy the company of dangerous men. But, where are my manners? I have yet to properly introduce myself. I am Gilgamesh, and this is my companion, Enkidu! <laughs> well, not really. It's been many moons since I last saw her, so to ease the burden of loneliness, I tamed a rooster and painted it green. In any case, <laughs> you mean to search for this goldsmith, yes? If so, it would be my pleasure to help! The pleasure is all mine, Gilligan. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, bid you welcome. If that hard for you to remember, I give you leave to call me Gil. Excellent suggestion, Greg. Playful monikers are an effective means of building camaraderie. Call me Hildy. Now then. From what I know of the goldsmith's propensity to, uh, to procure his materials himself, I have deduced that he is most like to be found in the vicinity of Blue Fog in northern Thanalan. It is there that we shall begin our search. And so Greg joined the party. Good old Gregamesh. Goblin's wounds indicate that it was felled with a hammer. A trail of bloody footprints lead to the north. I don't think it's been dead long. Maybe whoever did it is still around. Jesus Christ, how horrifying. Basilisk's wounds indicate that it was felled with a hammer, a trail of bloody footprint. A single blow to the head. Impressive.
Dang. The Doblin, the Basilisk, this Araman, all were slain with a hammer, as was the beast over yonder, unless I am mistaken. That chimera must be his latest prize, which means must still be about. Mayhap he is watching us at this very moment, attempting to ascertain our intentions. Was ever a cautious man when on the hunt? Alas, comes to this. Though every fiber of my being cries out in rebellion, I must break my oath and do the unspeakable. What must you do that is so terrible? I... I must dance. I'm a Mander, Mander, Manderville man. Doing what only a Manderville can. From the peaks of Curthus to Thanalan. Mander, Mander, Manderville man. I... I cannot avert my eyes! That... That is the dance of House Mandeville, passed down from father to son. Were I to perform it within sight of our quarry, he would not be able to resist revealing himself. Alas, I neglected to properly stretch my legs beforehand. My good woman, I see no other solution. You must dance in my stead. Though it be a gross, nay, unconscionable violation of my family's traditions, I must bequeath to you the Manderville. You have learned the emote Manderville dance. What manner of man can be summoned only through dance? Time has come for you to do what only a Manderville can. We are as siblings now, my constant comrade, for I have shared with you the secrets of House Manderville. Now you must use that knowledge. Go to the fallen Chimera and dance like only a Manderville can. Oh, but that's seriously gr Fancy yourself a Mandeville man would do what only a Mandeville can. Then lift your legs and put up your hands. Be a Mandeville, Mandeville, Mandeville man. He comes! Ho ho ho! You have not to fear from me. Not at all. The only accounts I came to settle were with the Chimera. But, you were not drawn here by. Were you? No? 
came in search of me, Godbert. Why else would you gyrate your hips in such a gentlemanly fashion, if not that? But more importantly, how in the hell did you learn the Mandeville? If I did not teach you, then who? By the grace of Thal, what sorcery is this? He yet lives! Brand Heliodor Maximilian Mandeville. Still a safer wrestler than Brock Lesnar. Ten years, Hildebrand. Ten years since you left home, and five since I learned of your trip to Dalamud. How long were you planning to allow your mother and father to suffer under the illusion that their beloved son was dead? Son, you're Hildy's father! Godbert the goldsmith's a Mandeville man. Smithing as only a Mandeville can. Oil him up, give him a tan. Fit for a Manda Mandeville man. <laughs> yes, exactly that, Xenon. Please, Father. Teach your undulations at once! There are more pressing matters at hand. This antique vase must be made whole once more for the sake of Miss Maria. Ah! Do not worry, little one. I deal with worse cases before my morning bowel movement. Fixing a vase with a hammer. Hold your applause until the end. Your guts. Guide my hammer! Look how it sparkles in the twilight! How it radiates elegance! Do you all not agree that it is a work of art? Completely destroyed a priceless antique's historical value! Nonsense! I've taken a dull, unremarkable vase and transformed it into something far superior. I hope you were paying attention, Hildy. How long has it been since you last held a hammer? Father, that is not my path. I am an agent of inquiry, an inspector. It is my duty to help those in need. Miss Maria is one such person. There are others, too. Innocent people. 
weapons were callously ripped from their hands by a thieving duelist. I thought you had put away such childish dreams. No matter. We'll understand in due time. No, I will not. I am an inspector, father. I can be not else. Um, Mr. Godbert, sir, I don't think my mother's going to like what you did. Probably won't let Mr. Hildebrand help with the investigation. We cannot say for certain, can we? Mayhap she will take a liking to this, uh, reimagining. spoke of a thieving duelist, did you not? It so happens I am something of a duelist myself. Were we to cross paths with this fellow, I would welcome the opportunity to pit my skills against his. Enkidu as well, I should think. I see you too possess a strong sense of justice. Full glad I am to have met you, Greg. Now let us return to Vesper Bay and see how our Vars is received. Vesper Bay, you say? What a coincidence! I shall be traveling there on business once I have finished gathering materials. Oh, I think I might have seen the demon bird which took my weapon. Go on without me. I shall follow anon. So that was Godbert. Godbert Manderville, owner of the Manderville Gold Saucer. It's probably supposed to be pronounced Gobert, but there comes a point when you have to pronounce it Godbert. Guy <laughs> Dilbert prays to, yes. I like that joke because Scott Adams would hate it. That's very true. You know, a lot of the old Dilbert strips I thought were pretty funny. And it kind of went the same way as Garfield did, except Jim Davis remained a cool, chill guy and Scott Adams not so much. I hope she likes it. Mother, I brought you the vase. By the gods, have you all no shame? How dare you make my daughter complicit in your chicanery? I don't know where you found this gaudy trash, but it bears no resemblance whatsoever to the vase I purchased. Now see here, Lady Dorilda. Not only did you send Maria to fetch your priceless vase alone, placing her in considerable danger, should bandits or wild beasts Back, which they did, but gaudy trash. <laughs> With Lord Manderville, sir, I didn't realize you'd arrived. <clears throat> Though I know it is nothing compared to the. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm. <coughs> this sec, I actually have to cough really bad. Well, the vase was an historical artifact, and now not so much. Though I know it's nothing compared to your lavish accommodations at a, 
an esteemed gentleman such as your help must such as yourself must enjoy. I pray my humble abode meets with your satisfaction. <clears throat> oh, it does, my lady. It does indeed. Especially that exquisite vase over yonder. Although I gather from your previous comments that you do not like my reconstruction. Your reconstruction? Oh, I don't like it. I love it. I would go so far as to call the new centerpiece of my Thorn Dynasty collection. Ah, what a relief. I would have been most distressed had you said otherwise. We Mandevilles do so take pride in our work and ever strive for professional perfection. Oh, but why am I repeating what my son Hildebrand doubtless told you when he offered to investigate the duelist's threats? Enough expository banter, I say! I... I cannot recall if your son used those precise words, but I do remember thinking that his help would be most welcome. We'll be helping us, Inspector Hildebrand, will you not? Wait a minute. Your father is Lord Godbert Manderville, the man who took a Yoland Quiverin on the Syndicate? It appears there have been a great many developments over the past ten years of which I was completely unaware. In any case, we must redirect our energies towards the investigation of the thieving duelist. Our first order of business will be to review all the facts with consenting Vector Bearden. All right, let's go see Bearden. Why are you still here? Allow me to elucidate. Lady Derilda has asked we assist with the investigation. Now kindly share with us all your information. Fine. Our plans have advanced to a stage that even you couldn't ruin them anyway. I commissioned several reproductions of the Treaty Blade through a merchant named Jojanpa, who is traffics in counterfeit antiques. Blades have been delivered to the Observatorium, where they are being distributed amongst Lady Dorilda's sellswords. Once I've given the order, they will transport them via alternate routes to Vesper Bay. Real, we're all just going to ignore the fact that Godburn's dressed like a sailor scout. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, do you want to talk about a guy like that behind his back? These blades have been delivered to the observatorium, where they are being distributed amongst Lady Gerilda's sellswords. Once I give the order, they will transport them via alternate routes to Vesper Bay. Oh, I think I get it. You're hiding the real transport with a bunch of decoys. They're all decoys. The moment the thief strikes, all our forces will converge on his location, including those disguised as small folk along each route. The real treaty blade will remain in the original owner's vault until the thief has been apprehended. Everything has been accounted for, and you are superfluous. Oh, but Godbert's not full of hot air at all. God Godbert can do everything he says. He killed a chimera with a single blow to the head. Dialogue. Gonna send it backward. Nope. Fear not, my fellow inspector, for I am a master of disguise. Have you any information regarding the duelist himself? A description? Never thought to ask Humphrey, did you? The thief is said to be a towering brute dressed in red who wields a halberd. <laughs> a man so garishly dressed should be easy to find in snowy Kurthus. And I suppose we don't need your help after all, do we? Come or don't, I couldn't care less. Be seeing you.
Pray, forgive my lateness. Greg, my good man! What a pleasure to see you again! We just received new information regarding the weapon thief! A victim described him as a halberd-wielding brute dressed in... Dressed in... Good night, Lisa. A ridiculous outfit! A ridiculous outfit? Oh, now I am intrigued! What reasons would a warrior have for wearing impractical clothing? Ha ha ha! What reasons indeed! It is enough to make a gentleman laugh! That damnable demon bird continues to elude me, but no longer. Soon I shall claim my revenge and weapon both. Dr. Hildebrand would have you accompany him to Perthus. Allow me to summarize our current plan of action. Our destination is the Observatorium, and our mission is to pose as goodly small folk in accordance with Inspector Brearden's instructions. Naturally, should the situation demand improvisation, we are to disregard those instructions. Any questions? No? Then let us sally forth at once. Alright, we gotta head to the observatorium. South from here. And Maggie the Magitech armor. Be sentient technology. to use the stupid stairs. No, I don't think we actually have to go up the observatory. Hail to thee, fellow servant of justice! I take it you are one of the many tasked with transporting a counterfeit treaty blade? Clearly, you've mistaken me for someone else, sir. At ease, Sergeant. With us. Or small folk. Keep an eye on them, or else. But, sir, I... I'm bugging me. Don't you bloody move till I get back. I say, this l is this land always so inhospitable? The biting winds, the endless snows. Mayhap keeping active will help me to stay warm. Oh, and should I chance to find the thieving duelist, I will, of course, summon you. After administering the requisite beating. <laughs> Good, you still... There's someone else with you a minute ago. Ah, you speak of Greg. He ventured outside the gates mere moments before your arrival, full eager to catch the thief. As are we. Come, Nashu, we too must answer the call of duty. You look like you might actually be evil. Don't you have a word with the man near the gates? Run a man over there.
Right. This is east. No, the opposite of west. Do that just now? No. I don't think my eyes were playing tricks on me. One way to be sure. Wait here. Vector? Over there, look! What is it, Nashu? Pray, tell me what you see. Aha! I see, demon bird. You will escape me. You will not escape me this time. Why, hello there, my friends. Is all to miss? No, oh, it's just Greg. For a moment, I thought you might have spotted our thief. Come, Nashu. We've lingered here over long. We must egress post haste. <laughs> you speak of Greg as my new favorite non sequitur. Oh, that's wonderful. There is not out of the ordinary here, either. No luck, hmm? We've scored every ilm of this area to no avail. I can only conclude that, having learned that his opponent was to be the legendary Inspector Hildebrand, the duelist renounced his criminal ways and retreated into hiding. Or perhaps he's waiting patiently outside the walls for more wagons. That being said, you should, should you decide to venture into the wilderness, you would best arm yourself with more than your, uh, wits. I appreciate your concern, Miss Ellie, but a gentleman should abstain from violence unless absolutely necessary. I'll fight for you, Inspector. I even found a weapon to use. By the Twelve... Is that the self-same spear which propelled me to the Red Moon? Wherever did you find it? It was buried in the snow. Well, one cannot ignore the will of destiny. Return it to me, Nashu. Though I will still endeavor to avoid fisticuffs, I will be duly armed should worse come to worst. Now then... We begin our search for the duelist on the east of the observatorium. Yep, I wonder where that duelist could be. Wherefore art thou, my nefarious nemesis? Was not the self-same creature, but one of many. Nevertheless, I know that my weapon is close by. Sense it too, don't you? Greg, good meaning to ask. Why do you covet this weapon so? If you but beheld it, but understand. In some ways it bore resemblance to a spear, but in other respects was quite different. It was crowned with a magnificent axe blade. Which was welded a musket barrel.
It was one of the first weapons I added to my collection after arriving in these lands. Ah, uh, how I yearn to reclaim it. The strongest of spears. That weapon of yours bears a striking, a striking resemblance to it. The strongest of spears! I, I claimed this weapon five years ago. Surely you can't be serious. Now you call me surely. No matter. Give it to me. Give it to me. The spear and I have traveled together to the very heavens. I will not relinquish it again. This spear and I have bested many a man together. I will not relinquish it again. Then we are at an impasse. I can't believe I'm saying this, but well done, Inspector. Thanks to you, we've caught the weapon thief in the act. Oh, Miss Ellie, you're grossly misreading our dispute. Greg is a good, honest man, whom I am certain has never stolen a weapon in his life. Indeed, I have not. Every weapon I have claimed was by rights mine. Each was a trophy for besting my opponent in single combat. <laughs> I believe that constitutes a confession, Tim. A confession to what? I have done not wrong. Bah, you all are beyond reason. Ah, yes, my plan to secure Greg's confession was utterly flawless. And his capture will be the coup de grace. Well, my plan is thus far flawless. Griffin Crossing is still impassable. I know who you are, even if that imbecile doesn't, so let's not mince words. Only you have the skill to face the duelist in battle. Even so, your strength alone will likely not suffice. I suggest you muster what allies you can. Alright, here's our first major boss of the plotline. Let me switch over to Blur. And we'll see if we can get this queued up. Nashu, Miss Ellie, ha, huh, my good woman, relief to hear your footfalls. As you've doubtless deduced, I was unable to prevent Greg from escaping through the doors. I must leave the rest to you. And if we can't get it queued up within a few minutes, then we'll leave it till the next time I stream.
which will probably be sometime over the next week. This is my scholar's outfit, by the way. Yes, it was I behind these doors the whole time. It took so long to arrive, I was getting worried you might have gotten lost. Long did I wonder what your role in this play was. A silent guardian, content to watch events unfold with minimal interaction. That's, that's pretty meta. At the last, I understand. We're fated to duel, you and I. Best me may have the spear. Fail! And your weapons are forfeit. Fair terms, do you not think? I will even extend them to your allies. I, I grant you some and others. After all, I will avail you no advantage. It will avail you no advantage. <laughs> For Gilgamesh, it is embiggening time! Kind sword and biggest biggins the smallest man. Yes. All right, we ready? Ready to attempt to tank it? All right. I am ready to kill it. Trial. Battle on the big bridge. So, we've still got a couple viewers. How y'all doing? Yes, it is actually called Battle on the Big Bridge. It's pretty amazing. And like I said, we'll just give this a couple minutes to see if we can get queued for this, and otherwise we'll call it a night. I would like to get it done tonight, but I don't want to have just a whole bunch of time of doing nothing. Let me pop over to Ulda real quick. And I can collect my money from the bank. Doesn't matter where I go during... Nice. Realizing I uploaded a JPEG instead of a PNG for my profile picture and whoops. All right, it sounds like it popped. Loading screen, loading screen. Come on. Let's go. We are ready to rock. Here we go. Favorite. 
Oh man, he pulled a knot. This is one of very few voice encounters in the game, by the way. There you are, Greg. You can't run away. Oh shit, he's surrounded by inky doos. Enough of a beating for now. I actually really like the Gilgamesh fights in 12. <laughs> of course, you have to fight the real Enkidu in uh, 12 instead of a green chicken. <laughs> No drops. That's a shame. Sometimes you can get wind up Enki to wind up Gilgamesh. It says. Alone yet still armed. <laughs> In any case, he seems satisfied with the halberd. Proceed with the delivery. And back to Vesper Bay. I actually think that the plotline with Gilgamesh, or the mini plotline with Gilgamesh in 12, was probably one of my favorite parts of the game. Mostly because it didn't really have Vaughn shoehorn. It just was what it was. Perhaps Gilgamesh is the real leading man. You 
I'm big in. Did not I'm big in. Such a sad story. Not supposed to be in the house. Talk to Darilda outside of it. <laughs> ah, more magnificent than I imagined. Like a fine addition to my collection. And with that, our business is concluded. Cheers. I genuinely mean that in your case, by the way. All's well that ends well, right, Inspector? Though it's a shame that Greg turned out to be the thief. There you are, Inspector Bearden. Why did you not wait for me at the docks? Ah, why are you all staring at me so? Never mind that. Where is my treaty blade? But didn't we just give you the treaty blade? Guise yourself as the client and let the treat blade come to you. Take advantage of an existing situation to distract us from the real crime. Brilliant! Man in red never spoke of the treat blade, only the halberd. Moreover, he always issued his challenges in person. Dear gods, isn't it obvious? What is it like in your funny little brains? It must be so boring! <laughs> if the man in red did not send a challenge, then he did. <laughs> Very different reaction than Hildebrand had. Godbert just dancing in the background. I believe this is addressed to condescending Inspector Briarden. Piss off! Four hundred years have I slept, one thousand faces do I wear. What is yours will be mine. I shall come claim the Lapis Maiden virtue. Any faced phantom th interesting. The design and the wording are the same as before. The thief stole the treaty blade sent. <laughs> Very well. I and I alone, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, once more accept your challenge. <laughs> 
Want a challenge, huh? Stand and face me, you buffoon! Dare you all laugh at a time like this after allowing my precious treaty blade to be stolen? And you, Maria. <laughs> I suppose it is a little funny, isn't it? The two of them dashing to and fro, a pair of gentlemen mummers. <laughs> you know, it's been far too long since we've seen a show. We head into the city later, just you and me. Not bad, Hildy. Not bad at all. You are indeed a Mandeville man. Mark my face, oh phantom of many faces. Or is the face, face of the... <sighs> Next time. The fiend dares lay claim to the fair maiden's virtue. As seeds of jealousy quicken within an inspector's soul. Can true love bloom on this battlefield? Will this Mandeville man find his Mandeville wife? Hildebrand will return in a case of indecency. Hey, what's with the goggles those men were wearing? They look special. Maybe if I ask Nicey, they'll give me a pair? I guess we'll find out next time. So that's the first part of the, uh, the Hildebrand plotline. I hope you all enjoyed it. Gotta call the stream now. It's almost midnight. We'll do more of this probably later in the week. Um, probably at night or in the morning, something. Not at a regular stream time. Because next Thursday I'm going to move back to LEGO Dimensions. And we're going to be doing uh, some, kind of, uh, some kind of LEGO thing. A good LEGO thing. Anyway, schedule. Christy, no, what's happening tomorrow evening? Still don't know what's happening tomorrow evening. Oh, I meant with your brother. <laughs> so, uh, there might be... Oh my gosh, Daddy got the uh, faded copy of the music. So I've got to make that for him. So, as I was saying, uh, tomorrow, if Katie is streaming, it's going to be Layers of Fear. Been wanting to play that for a bit. And, uh, that's, that's a pretty, pretty cool game about light painting. It's a horror game. Then on Saturday morning, Christy will be playing Saturday morning Minecraft on our community server. If you have access to that server, you're, of course, welcome to join her. And if you don't have access to that server, you're still welcome to join us here in chat. Sunday will be two continuing with Hollow Knight. Uh, pretty decent ways into it. Monday will be Christy playing... You just finished Chroma Squad. Uh, what are you playing on Monday? Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, a draft for Corset 2019. Basically makes a deck out of random cards that you... Uh, Tuesday, Andrea will be continuing with Lisa, a very, very dark, depressing, and hilarious RPG. 
I actually had to stop watching partway this this last Tuesday as it goes to some very dark places and no blame you if you feel the same way. But it is a really incredible story as well. Wednesday is our community day. We'll uh, figure that out when we get closer to it. And Thursday, as I said, we'll be back on LEGO Dimensions. Uh, Xenon Fiber may be going live on her channel in a little while once she figures out what she's playing. So keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, everyone, please take care of yourselves. I've been Alice. This has been the first half of Hildebrand in Final Fantasy XIV. I hope that you had as much fun with it as I did. We'll see you next time. Good night.